Hi everyone, my name is Kaylin and I'm an admissions counselor here at California State University Dominguez Hills. The goal of this video is to answer two main questions. So one, how can I get admitted to CSUDH? And two, who can I contact if I have any questions? So let's get right into the transfer requirements. As a transfer student coming from a community college or another university, what do you need to be admissible to CSUDH? The first requirement I will cover will be the number of units needed to transfer. As a transfer student, you will need to complete 60 semester units or 90 quarter units prior to enrolling for the fall term. Of these 60 semester units or 90 quarter units, at least 30 semester units or 45 quarter units will need to be in general education courses. If you're coming from a California community college, I would strongly recommend completing either the IGETC, CSU general education, or the associate's degree for transfer pathway at your commu California community college. For more information regarding these pathways, we encourage you to speak with your community college counselor or advisor. In addition, you will need to complete the Golden Four courses. And these are core courses that must be completed with a grade of a C minus or better. Only for courses completed during the winter 2020 through spring, summer 2021, we will also accept a grade of CR meaning credit and P meaning pass. The Golden Four courses consist of oral communication, which is a public speaking course, written communication, which is typically your first college level English course, critical thinking, which is typically your second semester co uh, composition or writing course, or a course in reasoning and effective argumentative writing. The last is the college level mathematics. And so this is a mathematics course above the level of intermediate algebra. So to see a full list of courses at your California Community College that meet each of these requirements, please visit assist.org. The next requirement I wanna cover is the grade point average, which is also known as the GPA. So it's important to know that your GPA is calculated by using transferable courses from all colleges or universities you attended. As a transfer student, you must have a minimum GPA of a 2.0 or better in all transferable college units. The next requirement I wanna talk about is good standing. You need to be in good standing at the last college or university you attended. To break this down, you must be able to re-enroll at that college or university. That was the final requirement needed to transfer to CSUDH. All of those requirements must be completed by the end of spring prior to a fall entry term. So an example would be if you're interested in attending for fall 2022 term, all those requirements must be completed and met by the end of spring 2022. As a quick plug, if you're interested in attending CSUDH for the fall 2022 term, you will need to apply between October 1st, 2021 um, through November 30th, 2021 by using the CSU application known as Cal State Apply. As I wrap up this video, please feel free to join us for any of our events, campus tours, or any workshops. We would love to engage with you and answer any questions you may have. And just know that you have people on campus at CSUDH that are here and willing to assist you. If you need assistance or if you have any questions, we want you to reach out to us. We are here to help you through this process. Go Toros.